In this video we're going to take a cat rig and we're going to conform it to our mesh so that we can skin the mesh and then apply some animation to it. So to do that we'll go to create helpers cat objects and just create a cat parent. We'll choose the base human preset from the presets list here and just drag out the cat parent so it's about the same size as our rig here. just going to center that parent because the mesh is centered in the view as well. So the first thing we'll do is uh, just grab the mesh and we're going to press Alt X to make it see through and then we'll freeze it. From there I'm going to take this uh, cat footprint here and move it over slightly so that this fits in with the mesh of our character. So we'll just zoom in and zoom around the character and push these pieces around. The nice thing about doing this in CAT is you can adjust it really pretty easily and the bones will kind of bend and scale as you do it which is nice. So this thigh we might want to have a little bit bigger. We'll just kind of scale that up a bit and I think that's fine and I'm going to want to move this foot over a little bit there and even rotate that platform some so that it fits in with the foot more. I'm going to take the base of this leg and just kind of move it in and down a little bit so that it fits more with the crease of the pelvis. So once I'm happy with that, what we'll do is we'll just go to into the modify panel with the leg selected and copy it and then go over to the other side and we're just going to paste mirror it. Now we can move on to the other portions of the body. So let's just kind of move along and grab some pieces for the spine. These can definitely be a little bit thicker. We'll go over here in Y. And that will work out well there. I'm just going to set this to local. Make that spine a little thicker. And then over in the left view, Just move this spine, we'll grab the base of it and move it slightly so that it kind of fits in with our character. And then we can grab the chest and kind of move that into place. And you see how the spine stretches into place to accommodate where we want to put this. So we'll scale it as well so that it fits the chest cavity of the character. And that looks like a pretty good setup. Now we we'll want to move this entire arm back and CAT has great tools for doing that. The stretchy limb tools here in setup mode help a lot because you can just kind of move these limbs and uh, into place and the one above it will kind of stretch into place. That's not necessarily ideal for moving the entire limb so what you want to do is just double click on the root and it will select that entire limb and then we can move that back. So we'll select this and kind of move that back so that it fits in with where we want that clavicle to be. And then we'll just go into the front view and adjust each one of these bones to kind of fit in where the joint should be. And we'll go into the top view. and just quickly position where we want these things to be. You may want to scale up some of the bones so that they are better for when you're skinning your mesh. Of course when you skin the mesh it's good to have these bones kind of fill the majority of the volume of your mesh. So that's looking pretty good for the moment. Push out this clavicle a little bit more. And when we're happy with that, we'll do kind of the same thing, which is uh, click on this clavicle. We'll copy it and we'll bring it over here and paste it with a mirror. And that'll move all the positions and everything else. So now this guy is pretty well orientated here. Just kind of position this where we want the base of the neck. 
and then adjust the head in place. Kind of rotate that into place and uh, scale these guys up a bit. I want to go for a little more of a bend in the neck there, so that works well. And look at the front view. Just scale those so that they fit the mesh a little bit better there. Okay, so we have a rough, loose approximation. Um, you can spend as much time as you want for this, but now we'll go in and just apply our skin modifier. So we're going to unfreeze all, select the mesh. I'll just hit Alt X so that we can kind of see it here and we'll apply the skin modifier. So we're going to add our bones here. We'll click on Add Bones. And from the dialog that pops up, you can just ask it to display children. And then we'll see that we have a couple of helper objects, which are things we don't want to pick. You don't want to pick the platforms um, of either of the feet or the base. So we're just going to go and select uh, the base human pelvis, which everything else is linked to. And we'll hit Control C to select all the children click on select to add those. Now one great thing about cat is uh, its animation and the simple cat motion animation layer really helps with skinning. Um, you can just use it in order to get the um, skin correct and make sure you don't have any loose vertices or anything like that. So if we go over to the motion panel with the cat rig selected, we'll just add in a cat motion layer and this will give us automatic motion that uh, of course you would want to tune later but for skinning it's going to help us out a lot just to kind of see where we're at so we'll press play and automatically we'll get this quick walk cycle that we can see how the characters kind of moving and what's going on now this walk cycle can be improved greatly but for right now we can see that the basic motion of the character works well and maybe you want to go into the skin modifier and adjust some of the envelopes for the head so it's more rigid or something like that. But that's the basics of setting up our cat rig to fit our mesh correctly and skin it. Just using a preset base rig with cat.